Hello learners, trust all you are doing well. On behalf of Skill Edge, I am CA Ankit Bajaj. Uh, in today's talk, I will discuss about financial accounting, how to become a financial accountant, what financial accountant actually do and how industry recruit financial accountant, qualification and skill sets required to become a financial accountant. So these things I will be discussing in today's session with the help of presentation. So I will be sharing the presentation and definitely you will learn about financial accounting a lot right so if i talk about the basic function of financial accountant what financial accountant actually do so if you see this slide and you will be able to understand the very first function of financial accountant is recording of transaction right so basically if i give another name to recording so we can say that financial accountant they record journal entry they prepare books of accounts and they record journal entry so you already know that every organization they perform thousands of transactions in a year right so they record general uh, entries related to purchase they record journal entries related to sales they record journal entries related to expenses and incomes right so they record multiple journal entries right and with the help of these journal entry what they do they prepare financial statement right so here as per schedule 3 financial statement includes balance sheet it includes pnl account it includes cash flow statement it also includes notes to accounts right so basically once you will be recording the journal entries what will be the final purpose final purpose is that you will be preparing balance sheet pnl account cash flow statement and notes to accounts now i won't be using the traditional method to make you understand that what is financial accounting so i will be using the annual report of double limited and with the help of this annual report we will understand more about financial accounting that what are the functions of financial accountant so here i have opened up the annual report of the uh, digital annual report of daba limited and what i will be doing i will be showing you the financial statement of daba limited now if you see i clicked on financial statement and what i will do here you, i will be showing you the financial statement so first uh, statement is given that is balance sheet right so what accountant will be doing here financial accountant he will be preparing the financial statement right so how he will be preparing the financial statement so first he has to he will be preparing balance sheet in balance sheet what we do we record all assets and liability right these things we will be recording in balance sheet first one is assets and after that we will be recording liabilities right so if you are a accountant in some company or you are appointed as a financial accountant of any company so you will be recording all the assets and liabilities of the organization in books of accounts what is the meaning of assets assets means those transactions or those expenses which provide you future economic benefit as per accounting standard 10 asset definition means which provides you future economic benefit right so let's suppose if you are buying building for your organization right if you are buying building for your organization or if you are buying some other assets right assets could be land assets could be machinery assets could be debtors right so if you are buying different different assets here machinery or it could be debtors right so they will be shown in balance sheet why they are shown in balance sheet why they are not shown in uh pnl account just because they will be giving you future economic benefit with the help of these assets you will be able to generate profit for your company right so this is what the meaning of asset if i talk about liability liability means future obligation right so what you are doing if you are borrowing some money for your business right so that is going to be your future obligation where you have to repay that money in future right so these all transactions we will be recording in balance sheet now next financial statement is profit and loss account so if i talk about profit and loss account so here what we do we record all incomes and expenses in profit and loss account we will be recording all the incomes and all the expenses and after that what we do 
we calculate profit of the organization that is profit before tax and after deduction of tax from profit before tax you will be getting here net profit that how much profit company has earned right after preparation of PL account you will be preparing cash flow statement right what is the reason why company prepare cash flow statement companies prepare cash flow statement to just find out that how much cash flow is remaining at the end of the year so basically here what we will be doing we will be recording the transactions related to cash outflow and cash inflows right so here we will be recording that what amount of cash organization has paid and what amount of cash organization has received right so cash flow can be categorized into three uh, activities first is operating activity so here we will be recording transactions related to operations right so basically from PL account we will be taking this balance that is profit before tax and after that what we will be doing we will be performing the adjustments so i have prepared separate course on cash flow statement balance sheet and pnl account <laughs> if you want to see that course so you can visit to skill edge website now further if i talk about what is the other activity so other activity includes investing activity so after operating activity we will be recording transaction related to investing activities so if you are making any investment if company is investing their money into shares or if company is investing their money into different different securities or if company is buying any asset right that will be shown in investing activity and third and the last activity is financing activity so definitely every company requires finance right so how company will be arranging finance with the help of uh, by issuing securities by borrowing loan from uh, different different banks or financial institutions or sometimes owners they will also introduce money in their business so these types of transaction will be recorded in financing activity right apart from these transactions company prepare notes to accounts where company provide details about all the transactions so if you want to see that what is the net sales or where company is performing the sales so if you want to see detail about the sales so what you have to do you have to read the notes to accounts of company right so these all things are prepared by financial accountant so it is not uh O only thing that which you have to learn to become a financial accountant you have to learn different different things you have to learn about the accounting standards you have to learn the accounting concepts you have to learn the accounting terminologies these all things you have to learn to become a great financial accountant or if you want a job in big companies definitely you should know all these things right apart from recording you should know how to prepare financial statement and you should also know that how to analyze the financial statement so these are the basic activities which are generally performed by financial accountant if coming back to the uh, PPT you will see that what are the actual functions of financial accountant right so if you see client who will be the client for whom you will be performing these financial accounting uh, functions so individuals can be the client businessmen can be the client or government can be your client right so let's suppose if you are starting a practicing firm where you are providing financial accounting services so many individuals individuals like uh, Mukesh Ambani individual like me let's suppose if I want uh, some accounting services for my own business so definitely I can take consultancy from your firm right let's suppose if I talk about businesses so businesses they also take services of financial accounting reliance Tata, etc and government also they need financial accountant in the organization right who can be your employer so public accounting firms or corporations you can say who can be uh, public accounting firms firms like KPMG firms like Deloitte firms like ENY they recruit lots of financial accountant in the organization because they are into such kind of business where they provide financial accountant consultancy if I talk about a uh, financial statement so basically what will be your responsibility you have to prepare financial statement this is going to be your core responsibility you have to record the transaction then you have to prepare PL balance sheet and cash flow statement viewpoint that is backward looking if I talk about accountant what accountant do every year accountant prepare financial statement 2019 2020 2021 right so here what you will be doing you will be showing you will be preparing PL account you will be preparing balance sheet you will be preparing cash flow statement now what is the meaning of backward looking right here you will be in balance sheet you will be showing closing stock right that closing stock will become opening stock for this year right then the closing stock of 2020 will become opening stock of 
year 2021. This is what a backward looking. When we prepare current year financial statement, definitely we pick some values from pre previous year financial statement. Right. So definitely we use previous year financial statement. This is what a meaning of backward looking. If I talk about focus, so what is going to be the focus of financial accounting? That every transactions should be recorded correctly in books of accounts. Whatever financial statement you are delivering to the stakeholders, right? Who will be reading your financial statement? Definitely stakeholders will be reading. Shareholder, vendors, investors, government, they will be reading your financial statement. So it's your responsibility that you have to prepare accurate and reliable financial statement, right? Purpose, communicating the financial position with the help of your financial statement which you have prepared government will be taking decision that how company is performing investment will be taking decision that how company is performing your company will decide that how much tax they are supposed to pay to the government your company will decide how much dividend they are supposed to pay to the equity shareholders right so your financial statement which you have prepared that is going to be used by every stakeholders right thought process when you prepare financial statement you have to use predefined accounting standard you have to use accounting concepts you have to use accounting terminologies right so it's a rule based accounting where you will be using the law which has been provided by accounting bodies right attention to detail you have to check each and every transaction very carefully if you want to provide accurate and reliable financial statement to the stakeholders so here accuracy is very important attention is very much required right designation basically ca cpa nowadays mba also they get opportunity to be a financial accountant of different different company if you want to know more about financial accountant you can visit to the website of skill edge so guys stay tuned with us for more and better learning thank you thanks for watching do like share and subscribe to our youtube channel And don't forget to click the bell icon. Hashtag #SkillsaCareerTak हम आपके साथ हैं.